hello yes that is right i am a cherry blossom so hello today i'm doing a cherry blossom look <laughs> as you could guess yeah i've been wanting to do this look for a really long time i really love cherry blossoms and you can obviously i like this look i did the eyes kind of cherry blossom colors with some red some light pink brown and you can obviously do this without the painting but it's up to you you can walk out like this who cares maybe i'll go get food tonight later with my man like this uh, if you want to go ahead and keep watching me do this keep on watching okay let's go ahead and get started on this look woo this is my cherry blossom look i've been wanting to do this for a while now um a long time ago i did i didn't record it but i did do this flower blossoming look I actually want to do cherry blossoms but i'm not using you know like the fake flowers or anything i'm going to go ahead and paint them i'm not sure where i want it yet if i want them to here or going up i'm not sure yet but we'll figure it out because that seems to be what we do in all my videos so <coughs> i'm not okay the face is done nars radiant foundation two face concealer benefit Hula bronzer, tart blush, opal from Becca Cosmetics for a highlighter. Eyes are primed, set with some Laura Mercier. Brows are done, all Anastasia except for the gel, which is Benefit. The start of this look is going to be with the Desi Katie Friendication palette, and then obviously incorporate the James Charles Morphe palette because we need the colors that are in here okay for the cherry blossoms i'm not gonna bore you while i sit and try to attempt to paint some cherry blossoms all over my face neck whatever but it is going to be with ben and i aqua paint palette okay i'm gonna go ahead and just set some basic all over my eyelid with a morphe m433 and all right that's just what's gonna happen here's that so necessary is going to be the next color. You're going to start that on the outer part of the eyeball. Kind of just make a nice V shape. Keep it a little more rounded. Don't drag it out this time. And then just start bringing it into the crease of the eye. And then take some chains and place that just right on the outer part of the eye and bring it in a little bit on the lash line. Take a little bit of basic and just start blending that in. Blend, 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 my friends. Go back, wipe your brush off, go back with some necessary, just a little bit. Throw that over and then you can start bringing that in. So this eye is very cherry blossomy, so you know you got the brown dyke for the branch. And then I'm going to put, you'll see in a minute, the light, light pink in the James Charles palette for our cut crease. going to set that on top. And then I'm going to put some red lined here because there is like a deep red color in the cherry blossom flower. So our eyes are going to be cherry blossoms. Then you're going to take some tart shape tape or whatever you want to use to go ahead and cut your crease. Taking my Pro Packing Shadow brush from Sephora is what I'm going to use to cut my crease. And with that same packing brush, you're going to take the very light pink shade in the James Charles Morphe palette and just pack that right on where we cut the crease. Take some of basic in the palette with your M433 and just kind of use that to blend the connection between the crease in that dark shade we used earlier and i'm not using falsies today for this look i don't know i just you know flowery breezy springy just natural yeah or just because i didn't want to put them on so after this you're gonna go ahead take your morphe m431 and dip into the very true red in the james oh my gosh my coffee james charles palette and just go ahead and Throw that underneath, okay? And then taking your M433, you're gonna take basic 
and just blend that out further. And then the same highlighter that I used, I'm gonna pop on the inner corner of my eye. It is Opal from Becca. I'm taking my Morphe M421, put that on the inner corner of my eye, because it kind of has a pinky undertone and the brow bone. Let me just throw on the other eye and I'll be right back. The eyes are done. Do you like them? Subtle pink, some red, cute. Today's lip combo is going to be, can you guess, Max Strip Down Liner with Smashbox Fair Game Lipstick. And I'm gonna throw some of uh, Madeline from NYX Butter Gloss on top. Okay, so there is the look. We're gonna attempt to do some cherry blossoms. I'm not sure where I want them. Maybe I can have them like going this way. And then I don't know if I want them going up my neck or if I even want them on my face at all. I haven't decided. I'll like film like the first part of me like doing the branches, but I don't know if it'll be like boring. Like, do you wanna watch me paint? But yeah, if you just wanted to do this look just like this, you know, obviously not adding the cherry blossoms, I like it. Highly recommend, my friends. I highly recommend. Okay, here we go. I'm scared. No, they're kind of broken up branches. So it doesn't look terrible. I'm scared. It's like I don't know what to do. Um, what is that? What the frick? What? is on my neck i haven't decided yet i'm gonna put the flowers on these and we'll see how it looks okay brb okay so this is what we have thus far i kind of like it couldn't really get so intricate with it like making the petals so i kind of just like dabbed them on you know but i like this but i'm feeling like it should be traveling up the side of my face so i think i'm gonna try to make that happen um let's just play with it shall we <laughs> Okay, BRB. Okay, it is finished. I decided to kind of just do this. Um, but yeah, that is the end of this little tutorial. I'll know I loved cherry blossoms so much. And yeah, just been wanting to do this look for a long time. If you obviously can do this without the painting. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you're just now clicking on this, hello, my name is Taylor. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.